Kerala, the southern state in India, is facing the worst flooding in over a century right now. Hundreds of thousands of people have lost their homes. They're on the streets right now. They lost everything that belonged to them. They're waiting for people to come and rescue them. They're being evacuated to a new relief center. And the entire situation is just heartbreaking, to say the least. And I wanted to make a video just to talk about what is happening right now, how they're being helped, and what you and I can do from our side to help them in whatever way we can. The Chief Minister on Friday informed that over 324 people have been killed since May because of landslides and flooding and more than 100,000 people evacuated their homes. Talking about the loss for the state purely in terms of money, the Chief Minister recently informed that the state lost over 19,500 crore rupees which converts to around 2.6 billion dollars or more. As you can see from the numbers, the situation is extremely, extremely grave and they need all the help that they can get right now. The good thing is, lots of people have been helping them till now. Ranging from politicians, to businessmen, to celebrities, to banks, to companies, everyone has come together and they're doing their part. Lots of companies are doing whatever they can from their side and I think we should do our part as well as individuals. There are so many ways that you can help right now. So I thought of just telling you a list of what all you can do and how you can help people from your side. First, if you want to help them in terms of donating cash, there are a bunch of things you can do. First, you can use Paytm. As soon as you log into the app, you see an option called Kerala Floods. All you have to do is click on that, put in whatever amount that you can donate and just donate it company has promised to match every donation rupee for rupee up to rupees 1 crore. Flipkart, the major e-commerce site in India, all you have to do is simply go to the page, click on the banner ad. Flipkart has partnered with the NGO Goonj, so whatever money you donate will go directly to the NGO and who will in turn use the money to provide whatever help they can for the people there. As a bonus, Flipkart has made sure that all the donations made here is given 50% tax exemption. Similarly, apps like Truecaller have also created an option on the app where you can simply click on the button and donate whatever you can from your site. Mila, India's crowdfunding website, has also created a page where you can go and donate. For every non-corporate ride that you take on Ola, and Ola is like the Uber of India, rupees 5 gets added to the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. For people in the US who are thinking, how can I help from my site, you can. There is a Facebook page dedicated and it's created by Arun Nella. The goal there right now is to reach $1 million. And I think we're almost there. I think there's already $750,000 which has been raised so far. So just go to the page and click on donate and to give whatever you can from your side. You can also donate in terms of kind. I read an article recently which said that people desperately need sanitary napkins right now in the area. and. Sanitary napkins is something that's basic hygiene for women and to know that that is something that they don't have is, is, is it's heartbreaking and they don't have other utilities as well such as food, rice, oil, sugar, utensils, toothpaste, all of these things which we take for granted. So if you want to donate in terms of kind instead of just cash, there are ways you can do that as well. Amazon has tied up with three NGOs, Goonj, Habitat for Humanity and World Vision India. When you go to the Amazon India website, on the front page there's a banner ad for Kerala Floods donation. When you, once you click on that, you go to the page which shows all the items listed by these different organizations, talking about which is of critical need right now. So all you have to do is simply click on whichever item that you want to donate and go to the final checking out page, put in your details and that's it. It goes to the families which, who, which need them. And Big Basket has also done the same. They've partnered with the charity Goonj. And once you go on the website, you can see a banner ad which you can click on and you can donate food to the victims of flood. Zomato, so which is a food ordering app, also has a way you can provide flood relief to the victims by donating a meal or two to the people who need it. So you can just go to the app and there's an option right there where you can help. So if you're someone who is nearby, the area 
and you feel you can actually go and help in person, then that's brilliant. Google has also put out a solidated map of Kerala where you can find shelters, relief operations, pick up and drop off points for relief materials, volunteers, medicines and so much more. There is also an initiative by the Kerala state government and the IEEE Kerala section. It's called KeralaRescue.in. It's a one-stop resource for those looking to contribute, request for help, register as a volunteer, NGO or company or receive contact information for rescue operations. So as you can see, there, is, there are tons of ways you can help if you want to and I feel the loss in the state is much more than the help that they are receiving right now and we have to do whatever we can from our side. Even if you think you can donate as much as $10 or $20 or 1000, 100 rupees or 500 rupees Whatever amount it is, don't think that, you know what, this is too less. I don't even think it'll help them. Don't think that way. Just do it and when thousands of you do the same thing, it's going to be a huge contribution. So just don't think that your donation or contribution is small enough that it's insignificant because it's not. And if you feel you cannot donate cash or kind, that's completely fine as well. What the least you can do from your side is just share the message share this video or share an article which talks about how people can help and maybe someone who is in your contact list on your friends list they can help and indirectly you will be helping them as well so whatever you can do just do your part and comment below saying that you did your part if you have other suggestions or other links that i missed out in the video please comment them below and i'll add them in the description so all the things that i talked about is there in the description below as links you can just simply click on them and start donating or helping out in whatever way you can. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I was originally going to post something else this week, but I felt like this was of critical need and um, I just wanted to do something from my side. So I thought the least I can do apart from donating is to make a video where, which compiles all of these links so it will make it easier for other people who want to donate. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate your time and I hope you do your part as well right now.